You keep hearing us and authorities refer to Brian Laundrie as a person of interest. That's because at this hour, he is not a suspect. A local attorney and former prosecutor tells News Channel 8 there are legal and motivational reasons for law enforcement to use that terminology. Jeff Patterson joining us live in Tampa to explain. Jeff. Good evening, Keith. Well, it may sound like a small or a subtle difference to most of us, but there are specific legal reasons not to call someone a suspect. In this body camera video from Moab, Utah, Gabby Petito is clearly emotional and upset. Now her parents and law enforcement want to know what happened to her after she last spoke to officers in Utah. An attorney for the Petito family made an appeal today for the parents of Bryant Laundrie to speak up. How can you keep her location hidden? You were both at Jim and Nicole's house. You were both so happy that Brian and Gabby got engaged and were planning to spend their lives together. So far, authorities say Brian Laundrie is a person of interest. Former prosecutor Bryant Camarino says there is a difference between calling someone a person of interest or a suspect. The real distinction is that for purposes of liability, law enforcement is going to call you a person of interest to avoid any potential claim for slander or libel. Camarino is now a defense attorney who says law enforcement can use the person of interest label as a motivator. The also the idea though is to send a message to that person of interest, hey, come cooperate, you're not a suspect, cooperate with us and then you know, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll, maybe we can work this out. But Camarino says defendants have a constitutional right to remain silent and prosecutors are limited in the ways they can entice people to talk. I think the incentive would be, look, tell us now, if she's still alive, tell us now we can avoid a death murder, you know, murder case. Uh, if she's dead, tell us where she's at, let, help us locate the body, and maybe we can avoid the death penalty, or maybe instead of a life sentence, maybe a term of years. Of course, Gabby Petito's family is begging the laundries to speak up. Tell us at least where to look. From a moral perspective, Brian Camarino says most of us would agree it would be the right thing to do to come forward, to speak up, to cooperate with authorities. But as an experienced trial defense attorney, in this case, he would advise his client to remain silent. Live in Tampa, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.